When first getting into watches, I thought I had a good grip of the many watch brands that were out there. But as you slowly go down this, this wormhole that is the world of watches, you soon realize that for every main brand that gets attention, there's a laundry list of other brands that don't get the attention that I think they probably deserve. And one of those brands is Mula Glassuta, and we're gonna be looking at one of their models today, the Terror Sport, a cool watch that actually has a special connection to this channel. So a little bit of background on how this came to be. So last year I did a project for the German airline Lufthansa. And during that I had to cover just different watches that they had available on their store, on their online shopping store. And one of those was this watch. And following doing the project, I was totally unaffiliated with the channel. I just was making videos for their online shopping network. And if you're on a Lufthansa flight at some point in the future, you probably will be able to see me in some of my videos when you're going and shopping for watches, so kind of cool. Uh, but when, after completing that project, I was able to keep this watch. And at that time, about a year ago when this was taking place, Will, the very talented guy who shoots a lot of the watch related content here and uh, shots of the watches, uh, I just gifted him the watch. He just recently started working for me. And over the past year, I've basically seen this watch every single day. We've kind of played around shooting with it and we've both just been incredibly impressed with the piece. And I think ultimately we've just come to the conclusion that I think this is a brand and also a watch that more people should be aware of. And now that we're kind of more in lockdown here, thought it was time to finally take a closer look at it. But chances are many of you might not be familiar with Mule Glassuta. So just to provide a bit of backstory on them, the German manufacturer in Glassuta, Germany has been in operations for five generations of family ownership, never being interrupted since their start back in 1869. The family owned company started with humble beginnings yet rose quickly being a key contributor to the growing reputation of Glassuta as being a watchmaking hub throughout the 1800s with their focus on production of a variety of different timekeeping instruments. However, some of you might be thinking, so they've been around for so long, why am I not familiar with them? Well, in the 1900s, much of their time was devoted to producing high quality speedometers and clocks for motorcycles and cars, as well as being a leading manufacturer for marine chronometers to be featured in boats and yachts producing components for 20th century German automobile manufacturers, DKW, as well as motorcycle speedometers for the likes of BMW. Yet to get to the point where the brand shifted their focus from marine chronometers, automobile clocks, and speedometers to wristwatches, we have to jump to the year 1995, when one of their key shipyard clients asked to be supplied with mechanical wristwatches that could withstand the tough conditions being aboard ships, opening the door to a new opportunity for the manufacturer to branch into production of other timekeeping devices, an opportunity that they took full advantage of. In years since, the brand has branched out quite significantly in terms of their watch production. Now being one of the leading glass suit to brands in terms of volume, while developing a reputation of producing reliable and robust watches, with them even producing watches for the German Maritime Search and Rescue Service. And for us regular folks who are just going about our day-to-day -day lives, they're still producing some great value for money pieces that fall right along the side of other well-respected German tool watch manufacturers like Damasco and Zinn, with the timepiece that we will have today in the spotlight certainly fitting these claims. Now, my current understanding of the TerraSport collection is that the model that we're looking at today is exclusive to Lufthansa, but it just has a small little tweaks into what is being offered with the TerraSport 2 collection. This one that we're looking at is available for around $700 and $900 I see online. Uh, but just kind of use that as a just a baseline for looking at this watch in general. Uh, there's a couple other watches that are kind of long lasting uh, models within their catalog that are really similar. And when taking a little bit deeper look at this Terra Sport here, just know that this thing has really taken the day-to-day -day beating of continuous wear from Will. He's a pretty active guy, so there's gonna be marks on the case. Uh, there's a little mark at the nine o'clock on the crystal. Uh, so just take all that into understanding that this thing has been worn to death over the last year. First, looking at this watch from a high level, we have a case size of 40 millimeters, case thickness of 10 millimeters, lug to lug of 48 millimeters, lug width of 20 millimeters, water resistance of 100 meters, has a sapphire crystal, and for a movement here, we have an automatic Solita SW200, this one having some cool modifications to it as well. Now, there are some watches out there that as soon as you put them on the wrist, it just feels right when it comes to the sizing and looks when glancing down. And this is one of those examples. With a 40 millimeter case and reasonable lug to lug as well as thickness, this watch is sized perfectly in my opinion for a watch of this type of styling. 
not overstepping the boundary of my six and a quarter inch wrist or 15.9 centimeters, yet it still demands a bit of presence, especially when factoring in the contrasty color profile that will draw the eyes in with superb legibility. The watch case has a consistent brush finish to help match the rather matte and under the radar looks with an easy to engage sizable screw down crown at the three, assisting in the solid 100 meters of depth rating, making this a trusted companion when getting wet. Looking at the watch while strapped on, like many Flieger style watches, the center of the dial really draws the majority of the attention especially with a rather thin bezel and relatively small lugs, which on the subject of the lugs assist greatly in the watch's versatility with a variety of watch straps that you can pair with it given the 20 millimeter lug width. Whether it is on a simple NATO or a variety of other straps, this one manages to look the part in both sport and casual environments and even being able to work in somewhat formal situations as well. <music> Now, being a brand that is known for creating marine chronometers as well as speedometers, it probably makes the most sense the fact that we're looking at a wristwatch today that is very good in terms of readability, but also it gives us everything that we need to display the necessary information that we need to understand without giving us really anything more. Glancing at the dial of this TerraSport, we have a Type A style Fleer dial made with high contrast and legibility in mind. Following the typical A style, we have fully loomed hour markers as well as the loom triangle at the 12 to help with the orientation of the dial in the dark. At the three o'clock, we have the presence of a date window outlined in a white printed finish. At the six o'clock, the writing of automatique. And at the 12 o'clock, the printing of the brand's logo. At the center, a simple three hand layout with a long thin second hand and super luminova filled leaf style hour and minute hands that show their incandescence when matched with the shine of the hour markers along the outside. The dial at the core is simple, but it has everything that you would need and has a bit of a sleeker and modern design compared to other Flieger styles on the market. Probably since many of the manufacturers that are also producing these designs of this nature are often trying to preserve something from the past, which makes total sense since many of them have heritage dating back to the originals. But I do like how Mula decided to just kind of mess around with some small tweaks to the design and adding a date window and slimming down the handset, providing the TerraSport a somewhat fresh look at this classic style watch. Flipping this watch over, we have view of a very familiar movement. However, similar to small differentiators made on the front of the dial, we have more of the same in the details of this piece on the back as well. Within this watch, we have the popular third-party Swiss caliber the SW200 from Solita. The movement being a very viable alternative to the ETA 2824 does its job without really bringing anything incredibly unique to the table. However, here we don't have your ordinary Solita caliber as the movement gets some nice up the tension to detail with this one featuring a nicely machined finished rotor, which also includes hollowed points with a branded engraving and marking of the 26 jewels within. In addition, the watch features blued screws while featuring a nice regulator for fine tuning the accuracy of the movement. But the cool thing about the regulator present here is it's known as a woodpecker neck, a patent regulator system invented by Mueller Glassuta back in 2003 a reinterpreted design from that of the more popular swan neck design, providing similar sensitive adjustment while improving on upping the shock resistance in the process. The movement operates at 28,800 vibrations per hour, four hertz, with this particular one clocking in about five seconds to perfect time of day. It's also fully hackable and has a power reserve of 38 hours. <laughs> Now, a recent theme that you've probably seen on the channel if you've been watching some of my recent reviews is me saying, hey, this watch deserves a little bit more appreciation or it's very overlooked. And that was all, that's all done because I've been very, just kind of calculated with the watches that I've wanted to feature, trying to showcase watches that maybe you haven't seen as much uh, from other places online. And as I've been making this effort, one thing that I have found is it doesn't always take a better product for a brand to elevate themselves in a tier of greater focus than others. As I think Mueller Glassuta is overlooked substantially outside of Germany for producing nice watches for around that $800 to $2,500 price tier. And after interacting with more of their pieces behind the scenes for the last 12 months and essentially seeing this watch every single day on Will's wrist running around with great accuracy and looking the part in a variety of different scenarios, we have a real winner here in my opinion. And although it's not for everyone, for those looking for a great everyday watch in this $1,000 price range, you might want to at least give this one and Mueller Glassuta a chance before committing elsewhere. So guys, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon. That really is a great way to help me out and what we're doing here. So I'd really appreciate that. 
Also, what are your thoughts on Mula Glassuta and this watch in general? Uh, I think generally my thoughts on this watch is being someone who's just basically seen this thing every single day. Uh, pretty impressed with it. And also I think the brand in general probably should get a little more looks for that $1,000 price tier for people looking at it. I mean, you look at Zinn, you look at Damasco, you look at even Stova, I mean, in Oris, for example, outside of Germany, they always get so much love, but in terms of what this watch is delivering, I think it's delivering a lot of the same. And sometimes in terms of the movement, I think a little bit better. I think they're doing a little bit more t attention to detail kind of work there. And uh, I think this is a brand that maybe should be considered a little bit more for people looking for a watch in that range. Also guys, if you wanna stay up to date with giveaways and kind of what's going on with me next with upcoming videos, I recommend following me on Instagram. I'll also posting some great photos of watches. Uh, so definitely check me out there. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.